Steve Miani here for Acid or Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Event with item number 153, a 1988 Plymouth Grand Fury Ohio State Police car. Not a replica, this is the real thing. Mr. Haney must have bought this at auction, uh, and again, it's not been decommissioned or demilitarized, as it were. It still has the jet sonic light on the roof, the wigwag, and of course the State Highway Patrol logos. Let's take a peek inside the front. Okay, yeah, there's the uh, interior. And it's kind of an unusual car. It has all the trappings. The radar equipment is still here. Uh, there's the on-off switch. Here, of course, is uh, the, the detector unit, all that stuff. And this also has a 125 mile an hour speedometer. Unusual in this one is the velour interior. Generally, police cars have vinyl and non-stainable uh, interiors, but uh, not here. But it is, it is a real police car with the P code in the VIN. Uh, in the back seat area, again, more of the same, more velour softness see right here and large stickers not in service these are uh, magnetic appliques and of course anytime you drive a car like this on the street you must apply these because the police don't like folks who impersonate a police officer you can see right here not in service uh, but a very clean interior and again velour pretty uncommon to see in a, uh, a law enforcement vehicle Let's move up to the front, and as we make our way, we'll look for rust. And I don't see much. Looks all good down here. I don't see any signs of, of perforation. Again, this is an Ohio car. Okay, a little bit down the bottom here, this flaking. Well, okay, a little bit, a tiny bit of rust. Again, Ohio has some harsh climates, not so much with Texas, but a little bit of rust happening, but I don't see repairs. 15 by 7 police wheels, of course, up front. No push bar, but uh, otherwise very, very clean. Uh, it has an Ohio license plate up front, 1977, apparently on that. Huh, it's an 88 car. Okay, under the hood, there it is, the uh, 318 four-barrel, 1988. No more 360s, so this is as big as it got, the 318 four-barrel. That's a Rochester Quadrajet. Again, uh, that was utilized by Chrysler Corporation, even though it was a General Motors-type carburetor. It works. And then, of course, we have factory air conditioning here. Uh, smog pump, etc. factory power disc brakes, and again, this being a police package, it has got heavy-duty suspension. Something I see here, it's kind of cool. This tag says special paint right there. And again, that's uh, another factor uh, confirming that this is indeed a police vehicle. Let's take a look at the passenger side, see if the goodness continues. And let's break out the magnet. Silver paint still in effect. And yeah, like the driver's side, a little bit of pitting here getting ready to come through. So again, Ohio, winters, salt, snow, etc. But anyway, here on the driver's door, looks pretty good. I don't see any rust through. Back door, same deal. The magnet sticks. It's not been doctored or fixed up. A little kind of a bubble right there. But again, very, very solid for a 1988 car. The rear quarter panel extensions are mint. No signs of any kind of rust happening there. So here it is, a uh, former Ohio State Police car, pretty much right out of the wrapper. Bid strong, it's a rare car.